Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany tasting whew, rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I have a 31 year old independently bottled Bunnahabin, 1978 distilled, bottled 2010, lost, and rediscovered in 2023, label on this bottle, um, and now it's in Germany. All right, this this is crazy, isn't it? Let's first of all pour a little bit and have a little bit of time for this. This is not the original cork. I pulled off the cork and it looked like this. It broke. It broke. It 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 dissolved into hundreds, hundreds of these pieces. All right, it was a pain in the butt. I had to use that sieve, um, poured it in a new bottle. Um, washed out this bottle three times and then poured it back into the bottle through the sieve. Now it's okay, um, but that was like hard work for this. And um, yeah, this is a 620 euro bottle. Now um, you're going to go, Jason, that's way too expensive. Well, take a look online for your Buna 30 year old, the original bottling, 46.3%. 628 euros. <laughs> All right, so normally I would not, I would not, I would not buy this. Almost every year for the last three, four, five years, I bought myself a um, outrageously expensive Glendronach. Uh, it could have been a 25, could have been a 28, could have been a 29 year old, depended on the year, depended on what was offered. I was too late this year, I just missed them. And so I was like, all right, good. What could I do instead? I have people that like to have at Christmas time, especially as samples and so on, something which is very, very rare, very, very, very um, expensive and um, very unique, rare and exotic. So, and this qualifies. And so um, the importer had his nice little newsletter called Alba Import or Vibrant Stills. And they sent this out and I'm just gonna read what they wrote in their newsletter. So they have the Alba Trails, which I bought, I don't know, maybe 10 bottles so far in my life from them. Um, there was a um, um, Tamdu 10-year-old Sherry. There was a Tomatin 15-year-old Refill Hogshead. And there was this Buna, 1978, 31-year-old Sherry Hogshead, 57.4% um, ABV. And on the, bottom, the label it says here, Old Bottle Flavor. All right, so... Yes, you read correctly. The absolute crowning at the end. Just like last year with the Glen Glassau Old Bottle Flavor, this year we have a 31-year-old Bunnahabin from the year 1978. And this was bottled in 2010 in Scotland, where it stayed, and it was more or less forgotten. How can you forget 31-year-old Buna in Scotland? So, um, so 12 years. 12 years this has now been in the bottle. This is what happens. This happens to a cork after 12 years with Buna that are cheap corks. All right. So, filled from a Sherry Hawkshead's 31 years of age, cast strength 57.4%. And after even 12 years in the bottle, this old bottle flavored bottling of Buna is, of course, going to be your biggest temptation this, this season. That's what they wrote here. All right. So there are just a few bottles. I actually ordered the bottle from the importer and he wrote back and said, what are you going to do with it? <laughs> I know the guy, Dee Dee. All right. Deter. Well, you call him Dee Dee. Um, his partner that he's with, um, Connie, we've, we're at Whiskey Ferris, we've worked together, we know each other, it's great. I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open it up, I'm going to do a bottle share, I'm going to do a video. He said, all right, you get a bottle. Um, but he was like, if you're just going to keep it and then sell it maybe in four years for a thousand euros instead, it's like, no. <laughs> I said, no, no, I'm going to open, I'm going to share, we're going to have fun, it's okay. And there will be a video about it. He said, yes, yes, Jason, you get the, you get the bottle. All right, so um, had I known that the cork would break, and had I known that at the moment I've only shared about 40 CLs, I still have 25 CLs that are left, I don't know if I would have bought the bottle or not. I mean, so, and especially with all the hassle here, we'll see. 
All right, so I'm going to compare it to my favorite bottling, I think, of the year. It's going to be the Buna 12 2022. I was not a great big fan of 2023. It's good, but I like the 2022 better, in my personal opinion. Um, there's a story behind this bottle. I need to tell the story. It's going to be another five minutes, probably, before I start actually reviewing. Just give it a little bit of time in the glass. So, I use whiskey base a lot. And if you go to Whiskey Base and you type in Bunahaben 1978, 31 for the year, and you type in 57.4 and then the percent sign after that, only one single bottle appears. And it's um, Whiskey Base number 15730. It is 1978. It's 31 years of age. It's a sherry bud. It's uh, cast number 7216. 57.4% and it was actually added to whiskey base and just like it says here bottled um, May 2010. Now this was bottled by Art of Whiskey. Art of Whiskey when you take a look you can click on the um, bottler and you see that there's 26 different things I think here that they have and um, if you click on the about you'll see here uh, they had 27 whiskeys, I'm sorry. And um, you will see that the bottler location is it's in German, Dorfstrasse, the main village street, 22. And the, the, the zip code is 21640 Neuenkirchen. I know a whiskey store there. Hmm. <laughs> it's now, in the meanwhile, changed um, the ownership, um, but that's fine. Now, if you look down, if I look down in the recent notes or the notes, it says here from the year 2017, um, HS305 says, Together with friends, I emptied a bottle that I bought for 92 euros in March of 2011. So, um, 93 euros. 620 today. So, between 2011 and now... Um, 2010 and then 2023, the 12, 13 years now, the price is 600, six times higher. And the other thing is, it says here, fun, I love the name, Pingo Bingo. He says, this is a cask share with the private bottling from a whiskey connoisseur from Wuppertal, Germany. I teach at the University of Wuppertal. Wuppertal is in this direction uh, 10 miles. <laughs> so it's just, it's, ah, it's right, my neighborhood. And this bottle has made it back to its, almost to its home here. All right, I think that's so cool. So somehow during um, the cash share, um, Didi from Alba Import had probably a couple cast options. And uh, I think there was 30 some bottles total. And so, yes, that was his. And he just left them and he did not bring them over from Scotland. For whatever reason and now hey there they are yay I kind of have a little bit of a feeling and I might be here also totally wrong um, we have at the moment I have a good friend he works at Edredawa signature vintage and they have been going through their warehouses and finding literally finding things that had been bottled 10 years ago 12 years ago five years ago and then often the labels were missing the labels never came, then we forgot about it, and then no one ever asked, no one followed up, and they just piled stuff in front of it. And they're working their way through the stock, and um, I think that's might. That sounds like that's what happened here. All right, and so we're getting at the moment in Germany uh, 60 bottles of this, 100 bottles of this, 50 bottles of this sometimes, the things that are very, very, just not lo no longer there. Um, I think it was Colburn, um, the distillery that hasn't been producing anything, hasn't produced since the 80s. It's so, like, oh, look, we found 33 bottles. Let's sell them at an auction, not at an auction, sell them at the whiskey fairs. And so people just go to the booth and they're like, hey, let's, okay, yeah, you can have this. It's 200 and some euros. It's like, ah, wait, we, we can't get this. This is like a thousand dollar bottle. And the things like that are happening at the moment or happened. I don't know if it continue to happen over here in Germany, but we found something. So the first thing that we find can find out is, look at the color difference. This is sherry, this is not sherry. Well, it could be sherry. One person wrote down a whiskey base, I think it was Fino. I think it's um, Matsundilla. 
Yeah, mozzanilla, mozzanilla. Um, that's what I think this is. It has a little bit of salty, fishy type of maritime moment going on in here. Now, um, this is not my favorite whiskey. I will not, and I am not going to go out and hunt down some more bottles of this. This I hunted down. Um, they were on sale at some place for 83 euros, and I bought three more bottles. I did not like, I'm not a big fan of the 2023. I was, and the 2021 was good, but this is great. And so I went on and bought three more bottles. I have them stored away, stashed away, and I can use them for tastings in the next years, or I can drink them or whatever I want to do. But I have some, and I'm very, very pleased about that. Some of you, like me, it's starting to happen as well. We bought six years ago. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, whiskey, got on the shelf, we kind of didn't forget it, we just bought new whiskey in front of it, and we just forgot about it. And then we start cleaning up, and we start um, looking, and we start inventorying, and we start actually stop buying because the prices today are way too expensive, and we're drinking, we figured out, wait a second, if I drink a bottle a month for the rest of my life, I have to live to 200. <laughs> And you should not be drinking more than a bottle a month of whiskey anyways. All right. And it's just like, wow, I just have so much whiskey. I will never be able to drink it. And um, and that's when we stop buying as well. And we start drinking what we had from back then. And we can find some real gems. All right. And I really, really envy the people who started doing that 20 years ago, 30 years ago, even 15 or 10 years ago that were buying, that was buying the right stuff at the right time. As I said, 12 years ago, this was a 90 euro bottle. Today, 600 euro bottle. It was not an abnormality 12 years ago to find 30 year old Buna on the market for under 100 euros. Um, 20 year old, 25 year old, um, we have 17, 19, 23. Uh, there's just all this old stock was there. And it's no longer. And the stock that is there is astronomically priced now. And it's just been priced out of my range. All right. Yes, it was expensive back then, but not six times as expensive like it is today. So there's that inflation product. Yes, it may be half the price, but not six times more that we have now. All right. So let's try this. Now, the thing that I get, and that same friend um, who works for Signatory Vintage, he has a YouTube channel in German only. It's called Whiskey Tales. And he said, I've had a lot of whiskeys in the last couple of years, and they've been 18 years old and so on. Blind, I would have pegged them for 12. He said, I remember back in the good old days, and he's talking 10 years ago, maybe 12 years ago, um, where you'd be able to try an old whiskey blind and know this is old whiskey. This, my ladies and gentlemen, this is old whiskey. This has the old bottle flavor um, moment going on. I cannot describe what that is perfectly. Um, I'm going to steal some of the words from someone else here on um, whiskey base. It's um, Electron, and he wrote here um, the, the word... Printing ink. And that's what I'm getting a little bit. On the nose and on the palate, I get grape. Um, that's sorry, so pink grapefruit that's been cut and left out for three days. It's like an over-fermented ripe grapefruit moment going on in there. Um, there's a waxiness. There's that printing ink moment. There's a tiny, tiny little bit of the smoked fish moment. And there's a little bit of a, imagine you had a book that had been in the basement by your grandmother's for maybe 20 years. And then she put it up in the attic and left it there for another 10 to 15 years. And you had that damp type of moment from the... Um, the basement, but also that old dusty moment from the attic. That's what this is. Now, this is not wow whiskey. This is not something I'm going to nose and go, oh, wow. I just love this nose. This is so great. No. 
it's it's not delicious it's a time capsule of what was 1978, I was nine, I was eight for most of the year, I was a little bit, just two and a half months, three months, of, I was nine years of age, I was third grade, I remember wonderfully third grade, third grade was a nice time of my life, I don't know about you, but other grades were not great, but third grade was kind of good, um, I was on, um, we lived in a house on 2 East Bissell Avenue in Pennsylvania, I'm not going to name the city, um, we had winters, we had falls, um, we had summers. Um, I was still in my elementary school, and life was not bad. <laughs> I was enjoying life, and that's something that was um, that was nice. That was so long ago. I mean, come on, I was eight. I'm fifty four now. <laughs> it's a long, 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 long time ago. And this is the time capsule. This is something we should we should relish. We should have reverence for. But we do not have to say this is the best whiskey ever. This is okay whiskey. This is a C, maybe even a C minus whiskey for me for taste. For a value for money, it's a definite F. Why? Why did I spend um, 600 euros for a bottle of whiskey? Not because I can, but because I did a bottle share. All right, I did three CL, I did five CL, I did ten CL. Two CLs of this bottle belong to me. The rest I'm going to share with other people. And as I said, I hope I will share. All right, forty-five CLs are gone, and I have about sixty left. I said twenty left, and those will be after my German video gone as well. I think, because people want to try this time capsule whiskey, and that's that's fabulous. That's what this was. Um, I was hoping for a wow whiskey. But what I got was definitely the old bottle flavor. Now, I'm going to put some water in this. <clears throat> I'm going to take it down from its um, 54. Well, it's 54.7, right? 57.4 down to about 50%. And the interesting thing is it gets oilier. It gets creamier. And it becomes more of a... <clears throat> yeah, of a tribute... To what whiskey used to be. I don't know if you have the ch you've had the chance. I've had the chance to have whiskeys from the 70s, from the 80s. So I mean distilled in the 70s, 80s, not bottled. I've had some bottled from the 80s as well. So made in the 70s, bottled in the 80s. It's 10 years old. Um, and those old old whiskeys, something happens in the bottle. Something happens in the. Um, it, it's changed. It's different. Just the style of the whiskey. Um, and this gets with water much better. Still in the nose, it's printer ink, it's that overripe pineapple, uh, not pineapple, overripe grapefruit here, pink grapefruit. A little bit of the waxy, oily, woodiness. Mm. Old bottle flavor par excellence. Mm. With water, C, C plus. Value for money, F. Now, of course I could have bragged, but I can't. I don't have the 30-year-old the Buddha here to compare it to. But I do much, much, much prefer it with a little bit of water, bring it down to 50%, enjoy it, and it turns into something relatively nice. Great. Question of the day. What is your oldest bottling? This is not my oldest. I had a 50-year-old whiskey before. Um, 78 is not the oldest I've had. As I've had, I've had older stuff. Um, but what is your oldest whiskey you've had? Is it a 30, 31? 50, I've had 50-year-old whiskey before. It, old age does not make a whiskey automatically better. But if you have the chance, try to find a uh, possibility, maybe at a whiskey competition, a whiskey fair, a whiskey um, festival, um, and try to, f it might cost you 30, it might cost you $50 to try this, all right? 
just to give you a, a little bit of a perspective here, 600 euros on a 3CL little sample bottle costs 29 euros without postage. 5CL, 45 euros plus. And a 10CL is 88 euros and 50 cents. That's a lot of money to pay for just a couple drams. But yet, it's interesting, it's fascinating and it's it's a history lesson and i really really am thankful that i was able to have one bottle of this and i was able to share it i am still able to share it with other people all right just very briefly the buna 12 2022 jason happy i think this is gonna be my winner of the year very very nice Good. Thank you very much for watching, liking, subscribing, telling others. Buna, 31-year-old whiskey. Wow. See you soon. Bye-bye.